Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we will learn how to use Amazon S3 or AWS S3 with Laravel S3 is a storage platform or <clears throat> surface that allows you to upload file and manipulate files as you want and it's completely free. So first of all we must go to aws.amazon.com and create our free account. It may require a credit card but it will not make any payments right after that we need to sign in we need to sign in our console right here and i am signing in as root user and my with my password and right now it's okay if we go to laravel documentation here he says before using ss3 we must install this independency so i will start using it here and i will install this dependency after that, if we go to our Laravel project inside .env file here, we will see this AWS environment variables and how we can get these values, I will show it right now. So go to our Amazon console and select here uh, our account so we can go to our security credentials to get these two values, access key ID and secret key. So when we go here, now we will go to users and we can create a new users or a new user here called uh, Laravel boy, right? And then next and next also. And now user has been created, right? And now we need to open this user Laravel boy here to get access key. So first of all, we will go to here security credentials and now here is our X key so we need to create a new one and we can select our option I will select other and the next we may create here and as you can see now we have access key and secret X key click show and here's an important notice we can see this secret key for once right so if you want to keep it permanently you can download dot csv file here right and if i open it show in finder and i will i will open it in my vs code here as we can see here's our access key and here's our uh, sorry this is our key id and here's our access key right so copy here AWS, I will close it. I will copy it from Amazon. So copy our access key, our access key ID and secret key here. And by default, our region is US East one. We can take it from here, right? And also now it's time to create our bucket. So now we can go again to our services and we can search for S3 right here and now create new bucket and I will call it a Laravel boy bucket or no bucket here and here is our region of our bucket by default here you is east one and now I will select create bucket right I will copy its name here I will open it first and now it's empty right no folders no files and I will set our AWS bucket here now it's time to test it uploading files to our AWS first of all I will go to my file systems and by default I set my disk to S3 here and also our uh, driver here file system driver s3 right so now i will implement an endpoint here and already actually i implemented it so if we go here and send i will receive success and i will try to upload a file right so first of all go to our controller i will say here a uh, file right i will say file uh, store and i want to store it inside maybe for products it's okay I don't create any options right and then pass here 
because it returns pass in case of success. I will say pass equal to pass, right? So back to our endpoint again, I will say file. I will select a file or an image to upload desktop. Actually, any image, I will select the logo and then send it takes a long time. Actually, if I go back here and refresh, let's check again. I will see here directly a store public images, maybe and pass. Let's try to send it again. And it's false. It's failed. And the reason behind that, we must give the user that we have created a permission to use or to access our S3 services. So back again to our Amazon S3. And I will back again to security credentials, right? And here we will select the users and the users that we created here. And under permissions tab, we will add permissions here and we can attach policies directly and we can select S3, right? I will remove it here to show it to you. Remove, right? Let's add it again. I will select attach policies directly and I will say S3. Then we can select Amazon S3 full access, right? Select from here and then next and add permission. Now let's try to upload our file again, but let's go to our uh, services, S3, and open our bucket again, Laravel Poi bucket. And now I will try with the same file again, send. And as we can see, it's stored inside public folder slash image and generated new name dot gpeg right back to our bucket refresh and here's our public slash images and here's our image right so we can open it and we can open it anywhere but this file by default is not public right so imagine here's the object URL actually right this one is not changed and with our name and this URL is generated by Amazon and to get this URL, we get it from the pause, right? So if we click on it, we will say access denied for this a file or for this whole bucket actually. So how can we make it public? It's easy. So back here again to our S3 and back to our bucket buckets and we will select the bucket we want to make it uh, public and under management here we have something called ownership or sorry under permissions right we have something called uh, object ownership and we will make edit right and we will we will make SEL enabled right to access to our files and folders and then select save change I acknowledge here, confirm and save a change again. And now we will back again to our permissions, right? For bucket and under ECL here, this one, we can select edit. And now we can see a uh, list read, right? And here's our permissions. So back to our folder under Laravel Boy here. And I want to select it. And under actions, I will say here, make it public using SEL and it's okay make public we have an error yes another setting here our public public access is blocked so I will back again to our buckets and again our Laravel boy public or bucket here under permissions and we, we need to edit this block all public here right I will say edit and I will remove this, then save change and select confirm. Now let's access to our folders again. Public actions make public. Okay. And now it's public, right? So if we back to our folders again under public 
images and here's our image and if I copy the URL then open it in a new tab now it works correctly so now we can use it for image tags for front end maybe right also one last point for the main base URL for you for your folders if we notice here here is our main base URL so we can use it maybe for saving it or saving the full URL in the database so this part of boy.s3.amazon.aws.com will never be changed so we can use it as a prefix before our uh, files so I will copy it for example here to show it to you here right and I will say this one here as a string slash pass so let's select another image to upload documents downloads this image for example then send send it again and now it's uploaded and I return the full URL so if I copy it here right and open it in a new tab yes and the reason behind that we use store method which is by default also store as private or protected so we can say as publicly store as pub publicly as here and now if we try to upload it again send and now this file by default is public so if I back again I want to fix the name okay save publicly actually instead of save publicly as to generate the name automatically by Laravel and now copy try jpeg and now works correctly all images works right now let's try another image for last test send and it works let's try yes all our works now so by default amazon stores as private or protected unless we make the acl public and also if we want to access to all file publicly use store publicly not store method here's quickly how to integrate your application with amazon s3 if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos